Gotta take the time to cut them off, I need her. I know how to make the girl go crazy when you treat her like you're number one. What's up, T21 family? We're back, back with another one. one. So today is um, Saturday. What's today say? The 12th. The 12th. Yep, Saturday the 12th. So, you guys, we're doing another, I don't know, like you can barely see me. Um, we're doing another car video. Can you see me now? We're doing another car video, and, um... I'm going to let Jeremy talk first, so, on this video. Um, we still in good humor. Um, Mama! We still know that it's still good people out here. And it's not a lot of good people out here. So... With that being said, Mama. I'm just going to let him talk and start feeding baby girl. So, put my glasses back on. Well, how y'all doing, first of all? Mama. And, um, like, like she say, like my wife say, like Mama. the doctor say, yeah, it's still good peoples out here. Mama. And then you got some bad peoples out here. And, they, and some will say, one makes it bad for all. No, it don't. But if there's one that's doing bad and the rest of them follow, follow behind that one, then yeah, it's going to make it bad for, the, for them. Okay. But the ones that's not doing bad, it, it don't make it bad for them. Because they still... Some can still be on your side and some can't. Well, as 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 I'm trying to say is, uh, be careful out here in this world, where, wherever you at. If you in Shreveport, if you in Dallas, wherever you at, be careful out here because you got some cops that don't care about you. They will mistakenly, your car for another car or mistaking you for someone else. I mean, um no I'm not we don't have the video, we don't have no video of of us getting pulled over or, or me getting pulled over. But it's like when I was going somewhere and I passed up the cop sitting over there. I wasn't speeding I wasn't regularly driving my music when loud. I'm going where I was going. He's sitting over there. Nothing. But as I was coming back, pass him up, still the same thing. Wasn't speeding, wasn't regularly driving. My music went loud. And I had my seatbelt on. He decided he wanted to pull out and pull me over. So, as that being said, I stop after he get behind me, flashes, lights, and sirens and stuff. I stop. I pull over and stop. He get out the car, approach my car, and... Just say, get out. Instead of he saying, can I see your license and registration, all the thing he said was, get out the car. So I'm like, what did I do? I know I didn't run no red light. I know I wasn't speeding. And I know I wasn't driving reckless. He gonna say, get out the car. So, I get out the car. And it's, before I get out the car, I called the person house I went to before I got out the car. And before he made it to my car, I called them and asked them, can they come back up? And they came back up. So I get out the car. And when I get out the car, that's when he asks, where are you coming from? And I told him where I was coming from. Then he go tell me basically to my face that I was lying. Like he knew where I was coming from. 
no. So I guess he think I'm a drug dealer. I guess he thought I was a drug dealer. I guess he thought I was a... I don't know. But... I was just getting out of work. Dropping something off at somebody's house. And going back home. And get pulled over. Like I said, on the way going... I seen him sitting over. Just sitting there. So I thought nothing of it. Kept going. On my way back... He pulled me over. Now... I don't know the reason why he pulled me over, but when the guy came that I called when he came up and told the cop that, now he wouldn't let me talk to tell him where I was coming from or nothing like that. But as soon as the guy came up and told him I just left his house, he going to tell me, he going to tell us to have a nice day. And he walk off. I'm like, that was so wrong. Now, I'm going to let y'all, I'm going to let my wife tell y'all one of the reasons, probably the reason why I got stopped. But, that means y'all will have, they will have to stop every car, like our car, to find the people that they're looking for. Alright. So, <clears throat> I get something that come to my phone the other day on the news um, talking about a stolen car. And I was like, wow, that stolen car is like the type of car that we have. And I said, dang, get so many cars like ours. We're luckily to get pulled over. So, in the process of that, I was wondering why it was taking him so long to get home, y'all. Come to find out the police stopped him. Only thing the police had to say was that your car is the kind of car that we're looking for that have been missing. Or you know what I'm saying? Somebody stole. And can I see your license and registration? Mom. That's it. So when my husband said that he was going on down the street, he pulled over because the police was flying. He thought, okay, well, the police going to go past me. But no, they stopped him. So he got home. He was like, well, let me tell you what just happened to me. And I'm like, oh, Lord, the only thing I could think about was the police. First of all, y'all, it's so much going on. So much going on. And they are looking for you to make one mistake so they can shoot you. Okay? One mistake. Now these days, it's just best to say, yes, sir, no, sir, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am. Hold your hands up. That's it. Do what they say because they looking for you to do something wrong so they can shoot you. Like he said, all cops are not the same. They're not. You have some that come and stop you and have so much respect. So much respect. But this police officer right here didn't. Like he was so... Like he just clicked on his attitude before he even got to the window. And then when he seen that my husband wasn't lying about where he was coming from... You want to tell them to have a good night? No. First of all, he asked you repeatedly, why did you stop me? Well, so when you get pulled over and you ask that police officer, why did you stop me? You have, they have every right to tell you why they stop you. Okay? They cannot just stop you for nothing. Nothing. Or if they do stop you and when they run, walk, walk up to your window and you raise your window down, they supposed to tell you why they stopped you. He didn't tell me at all. All the time he told me, you get out the car. And he said it just like that with a nasty attitude. Like, get out the car. You're not supposed to do that. I'm yeah. like, what did I do? Get out. Just get out the car. I'm like, it's dark. And I'm like, so I step out of the car. And in my head, I had a bad voice telling me to go off on him. But Don't do it. I didn't. Then I just had to think about it. I just called the person and they is on their way. They is on their way. They, I wasn't too far from their house. And when he pulled up and told him the same exact thing that I told You're him. So that's the only yeah. thing you can say was y'all well, y'all have a good day and walk off. Yeah, I'm sorry the camera cut off. It might be, I don't know how this video gonna come out. But the camera cut off and I, I hate to start it over. So yeah. So I, I, I really, that was that was so wrong. 
So we're making this video to let everyone know where, wherever y'all staying at, that if y'all ever go through this with a cop, anything, we know exactly what y'all going through. And I was by myself, so yeah. make sure. I didn't know I didn't record because I didn't have the camera with me. I, like I said, I'm just getting out of work. But if okay. wherever you at and you driving and you feel like you getting, if you f even feel like you getting pulled over, record. Put out your camera. And yeah. Record. If I don't care if it's your, your phone. phone yeah. Record. Because if not, they feel like they got every right to do to talk to you any type of way. <laughs> you know. To mace you, to hit the, hit you with a billy stick or whatever they want to call it, but. They got a body cam, and they can turn those off. Yeah. So, with and make sure if you if, even if you're not by yourself, the person that's with you, make sure they get the phone and record, keep recording. Yeah. yeah. It's nothing they can do. They can't tell you. Even if you have to put your phone down on the seat, just yeah. make sure you recording voice record, yeah. video record, anything, anything yeah. to get that on tape because yeah. it's not right. They feel like they're the officer of the law. You, they, they, they are here to serve and protect us. I'm sorry, baby. Mom. But the way they I'm using sorry. their authority is, is not right. They're using their authority against us. Mom. Okay, baby. So, the key word is record. Record and be careful. And keep God first. So, with that being said, you guys, we love you guys. Get this video a thumbs up. Um, share our video if you feel need to. Uh, let's get those subscribers up. And I think um, all our new subscribers, welcome, welcome, welcome to Federica and Jeremy T21. I know it's a long name. Um, Federica stand, stand for me. This is Jeremy. And T21 stands for baby girl back there for Tr <laughs> Trisomia 21. Her name is Shanerica. Yeah. Like yeah. But, <laughs> but it, you know, it's, it's just um, first two letters are different. But, yeah. Um, and we're going to be out. Peace out. We love you. Peace out, y'all.